Hello everyone, this is Akash Patel. Welcome to the tutorial. So today we are going to see how can you fetch all the contacts from the device and after fetching all the contacts, how to make a vCard, how to make a .vcf file from all the contacts. So let's begin. Now you can see that on my screen that I have one view controller we having a single button and that action is in the view controller that button clicked now to fetch the contacts I will require one method fetch all contacts which uh, passes which uh, requires nothing in the parameter but returns the CN contact array of CN contacts so before beginning we need to import the contact framework so let's do it and also as we are as we need to ask for the user permission to access the contact also we need to add the info.plist in the info.plist file we need to get the permission from the user so privacy and select the contact user description and just type your description here so we are done with that now first of all we will create one array which will be your contacts array of type cn contact right now it is empty and it will be a variable type because we need to add multiple objects in that and also return here the same contacts array okay so done that now to fetch all the contacts from the device we require a contact store as well as using that contact store we will create one request to fetch all the contacts from the device so first of all let's create one contact store object that contact store here and it will be a cn contact store now as we have our contact store here we will require to create a fetch request so let's do it create our fetch request here yeah. fetch request and initialize it with the key fetch key to fetch and here we need to pass the key so the key will be as we are going to create v card from the all fetched contacts so we will just use that particular key that cn vcard serialization cn contact vcard serialization and dot we need a description descriptor for key so we will use it now as our fetch request is ready now use the contact store and use this particular method we will fetch all the contacts of the device so we are using it here pass the fetch request we have just created above and this block this block here it passes all the contacts each and every contact will be here and just ending of the now what we need to do is just add this particular contact you can see that we are getting each and every contact in this particular block so just add this particular contact in our array which we are returning at the end of this function so now contacts dot add object sorry append and this element contact extremely sorry for the background noises now you can see that the error is showing that this function can throw so we just need to write this whole code into a do and we will catch the error here and we will just print that failed to fetch okay and also write the draw now 
here we are passing a contact and you can see that our whole code is ready now so if you want to see let's begin here let's on the click off button we will call this particular method in the array so first of all we will create one array array contacts which will give the all the contacts of the device in this particular array so just call this method fetch all contacts and all the contacts will be in this particular array so now just print count of the array dot count and let's see how it's going now I'm selecting the iPhone 6 here we will run the project and see how far we have gone to our aim sorry for the delay extremely sorry and now as the simulator started we will see now first of all click the button so it will ask you for the permission to access the contacts so just allow it and you can see that here the count will be six means there is six contacts in the simulator right now so let's check you can see that in this contacts you can see these three six contacts here and all the contacts are fetched here in the code so up till now we have done with the half part that fetching all the contacts from the device and now we will need to create one vcf file from all the contacts so to create the vcf file we will require the same function means we will create one function which get at all the contacts in the parameter and store it in the document directory so now save contact in document now in the, as the parameter we will get the context array here which will be a type of array of the cn contact objects that's it and now let's define the function so first of all we need to create the document directory path here because at that part we are going to store the vcf file so let's create it first of all so now let's document directory path here which will be a search and a search path for directories domain and here the directory will be the search your domain mask will be user domain mask and sorry here we need to pass the true value and 
this will create one array so we are just getting the object at the index 0 so it will give us the document directory path sorry I have made one mistake here so I am just uh, checking the code how to get the document directory path and I am just copying it just to get easy you can see that here it has used the document directory and user domain and also get the object of the zeroth index so it will get the first index object now document path we will need to create a file path because this will be the actual path where we are going to save our vcf file so file url and you can see that url file url with path here path will be document path plus we are going to append our my context dot vcf vcf ex with the extension we are going to use that now our file url is ready now what we need to do is we need to create a data and we just need to write that particular data in that file url so let one data here data will be a type of ns data so first of all it will be a name now this can throw an error so we will handle it and just print it field and here what we need to do is we just need to create a data that data will be ns sorry cnv cn context visualization dot data with cn context and here we need to pass the array of context so as you can see we are getting the array of context in the parameter so we are just using it here context and it will be a ns data now we have ready our data the data is ready now and we have just need to hold on a second yeah we need to write down a try yeah so it can handle the exceptions now the data is ready we just need to write it to the file so data dot write to file write to url and here url will be file url and writing option will be atomic now this can throw an error so we will handle it same as above we will do this particular code and also catch the error below and also print here fail to write and if it successfully writes the data then we just printing the actual path so file url dot absolute string which will be our path of the file where we are writing our vcf file now let's run the project and see how it's working I'm just debugging I'm just putting a debugger at the exceptional as well as the successful response of the writing now let's run the project and see how it works now click on the button extremely sorry as we have made a function but we have not called yet so let's call it self dot save contact in document and pass the array of contacts and now let's run it
now on the click off button you can see that it is successfully returned to the path and the path is here now I'm just copying the path and going to the finder and we'll we will go to that particular path and you can see that we have our VCF file and on the review of that particular you can see those six contacts in that so we have successfully created dot VCF file using all the contacts of the device so that's all from my side thank you so much if you have any doubt any query about the tutorial feel free to comment thanks a lot have a great day bye